Hi, you guys. Uh, one of the first things we're going to review is from Algebra 1. It's the concept of absolute value. So whenever you see these symbols, the ones that are straight up and down, they don't mean you have to do anything. They simply mean the distance away from zero. So a distance is always positive, whether it's a positive number or a negative number. Just remember this symbol means distance away from zero. So you do the operation of whatever is inside. This is three negatives added to one more negative. So it's a total of four negatives. But the answer is positive four because this is four units away from zero. Again, the number two, you do 10 minus 11. So it's like 10 positives and like adding 11 negatives. So this is actually the absolute value of negative one which of course is one away from zero. So always put a box or a circle around your answer as well. This is six positive, six negatives added to eight positives. So it's the absolute value of two, which is two away from zero. Number four, nine minus negative one is the same thing as nine plus one, because when you have negative negative, you can add that into one big plus. So it's the absolute value of 10 which is 10, that's your final answer. This, again, you see a minus a negative, so these turn into pluses. You've got 12 negatives, eight positives, you end up with four negatives total, but the absolute value of that is four away from zero. Negative 15 minus seven, you, you have 15 negatives and you're taking away more numbers, you're taking away positives. So, I don't know how your teacher taught you last year, but I always like to change these to adding negatives. That means I'm gonna get more negatives when I add these. So I'll get negative 22 when I add 15 negatives and seven negatives. And so that absolute value is 22. Number seven, negative 12 plus three is 12 negatives, three positives. So I get a total of nine negatives. And that absolute value is 9. Again, 5 positives, 15 negatives. So 5 of these positives will cancel with 5 of these negatives, and you'll be left with 10 negatives. So the absolute value is 10 away from 0. And finally, 1 minus 12 is the same thing as 1 plus 12 negatives. 1 negative and 1 positive will cancel you'll end up with 11 negatives. The absolute value is, okay. As review also, you're gonna find the area of triangles. Remember all triangles are sort of like half rectangles. So if you know a rectangle is B times H, base times height, remember it has to be perpendicular. Then a triangle is always that, just divided by two, because you can make any of these shapes into a rectangle. So I don't memorize formulas. I try to figure out ways to remind myself of what they are. So for number 10, A equals 1 half times the base times the height. So A equals half and 16 is 8. 8 times 15 is 120. Always use your units. And you multiply centimeters twice, so that's centimeters squared. Number 11. The base is 12, height is 6, half of 12 is 6, 6 times 6 is 36, and those are feet. I multiplied twice, so that's squared. And then this one, even though this is outside, it is the perpendicular height, which is 9. So A is 1 half times 9 times 31. And I don't even know what that is. I grabbed my calculator for this. So that's 139.5. And my units are kilometers squared. So that's the review of math proficiency for chapter one, lesson one.